Hey everybody, Dan from uh, Diamond Shine Cleaning Products. <clears throat> Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Thank you for joining us today. Just kind of want to talk about the, the new product that we're offering on Amazon. And uh, <clears throat> we've got a complete line of kitchen products uh, that we're going to cover today. And uh, as well as four other SKUs that we're, we're offering on Amazon. So... If you're looking for high quality production value here, uh, we're not your uh, your people. But if you're looking for high quality home cleaning products, then we've got you covered. Just to share a little bit about Diamond Shine and, and what we offer, every single one of our products contains submicron diamonds. Uh, we call it diamond dust. Uh, and what that does for you is it gives you uh, the, the power to, to uh, scour and clean better than any other cleaner on the market. So every one of the products that we're going to talk about today actually has this diamond dust in it. Uh, today we're specifically going to talk about the, the kitchen product. Uh, you'll be able to see here in a second I've got a, a stainless steel door uh, for a dishwasher. I've got a cooktop. I've got a pan with scorched and burnt pasta sauce. Also have uh, a couple other things that, that we'll show you here in a, in a couple minutes. But again, really wanted to concentrate on the, uh, the kitchen product today. And we'll have future live streams and talk about the bathroom cleaner, the hard water cleaner, the outdoor cleaner, and the automotive cleaner. So we'll talk about those a little bit later on as well. But like I said, wanted to kind of touch on the, the kitchen product that we're offering. If you haven't seen Diamond Shine yet, you can go to our brand store on Amazon. It's uh, amazon.com backslash Diamond Shine Cleaner. Uh, you can also click on the link here. We've got all of our products listed at the bottom, so feel free to, uh, to take a look. We've got some great before and after photos uh, on, the, on the site. Uh, anything from uh, truck rims using the automotive cleaner to uh, shower, and tub surrounds, uh, shower doors, um, and then again, the kitchen cleaner. So let's go ahead and get started with the kitchen cleaner. Uh, this is probably uh, the most versatile kitchen cleaner that uh, that's out there on the market today. Again, we use submicron diamonds to clean. This kitchen cleaner can clean anything from stainless steel, which you'll see here shortly. A lot of us have stainless steel appliances now, uh, all the way up to uh, glass smooth tops, cooktops, kitchen sinks, pots and pans. It is NSF certified, so it's safe for use in food prep areas. Uh, again, your sinks, your refrigerators, your pots and pans, your, your cooking surfaces, countertops. Uh, so it's available, um, again, on Amazon, on our brand page. Let's go ahead and dive in a little bit and, and show you what we can do with this uh, cleaning product. So. Again, what I'll do is I'll come around the camera here and we'll start with uh, the stainless steel door. The one thing you want to make sure uh, with stainless steel is that you always clean with the grain of the stainless steel. This prevents scratches. So on this particular door, you'll see it runs from left to right. Um, before you start cleaning your stainless steel appliances, make sure you figure out which way the grain is running. Again, to make sure you prevent any damage. The other thing I'll say about stainless steel is a lot of different manufacturers are now making anti-fingerprint stainless steel. So I would highly recommend for you to figure out if you have anti-fingerprint stainless steel. If you do, you generally don't want to use a clean product on it of any kind. Uh, anti-fingerprint stainless steel is generally best cleaned by using uh, warm water. Uh, at the very most a mild detergent, but again, I, I definitely wouldn't uh, Wouldn't use anything outside of the, the warm water for anti-fingerprint stainless steel now Most of us have regular stainless steel, which is what I'm going to show you today and uh, Again diamond shine kitchen cleaner is is the perfect uh, Thing to clean your stainless steel this particular door. I've got fingerprints on it. I've had my, my kids walk through here every uh, couple hours and just rub their fingers all over it uh, to make sure we get it uh, nice and marked up uh, for the live stream today. 
And then I've also gotten some uh, dishwasher detergent, some hard water. You, you'll be able to see there's hard water marks on the stainless steel. So really gives it a feel for if it was on your dishwasher in your house uh, with everyday use. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and, and bounce around here to the camera and we'll, we'll get in on the, uh, on the stainless steel and I'll show you how uh, the, the diamond shine, how well it cleans. Um, first thing you wanna do is make sure shake up the product pretty well. I think that'll give you a pretty good view of what we're doing with the stainless steel. I'm gonna use a microfiber cloths to clean. Again, you always wanna go left to right uh, if that's which way your, your stainless grain is running. Uh, again, if you're not sure, you might have to get down pretty close to see, but on this particular door, it runs left to right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of diamond shine product on here a couple different places it'll take us a couple minutes to get this shined up for you but <clears throat> take your my microfiber cloth and again you'll just want to gently go back and forth left to right sometimes you want to pop a little bit of water on on your rag just to make sure you're getting it nice and clean we're going to go all the way down, left and right. Might need to put a little bit more on. Don't know if you can see here or not, but we've got some clear tape. And I'll pull that up to kind of give you an idea uh, of what, uh, what the before and after look like. Again, definitely want to work it in a little bit. And if we're lucky, when we pull this clear tape up, we may get some, some residue from the tape. And I'll show you how well Diamond Shine can clean that residue up as well. So as you can see, left to right, probably just get a little bit more water on there. And then what we'll do is once we're done with the real, the real good cleaning part, we'll just take another microfiber cloth and just kind of buff it out a little bit. So again, we've got a clean dry cloth here. We'll go left to right. This has removed all those hard water stains, all those fingerprints, that Dawn dishwashing washing liquid. And hopefully you can see the difference between what Diamond Shine is clean versus the marked up side. So again, I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pull up this clear piece of tape. I think if we're lucky, we'll get some residue from the tape. Pardon the noise there. Unfortunately, we didn't get any of the residue, but <clears throat> let's get a real good look in there. And you can see the side that was cleaned with diamond shine. And the side that was not. Pretty clear cut. Only took about, I don't know, 45 seconds to a minute. <clears throat> Again, when you're cleaning with the power 
of diamonds, it doesn't take much work. Not a lot of hard scrubbing. So, again, you'll see we have the Diamond Shine Kitchen Cleaner. In this particular instance, we have a smooth top cooktop. Also have a pan that we burnt some pasta sauce. Ryan, thanks for joining us. Steven, thank you. <clears throat> so again, we've got a, a pan here. We've got the cooktop. <clears throat> There's a lot of cooktop cleaners out there. A lot of people uh, who own cooktops for the first time and not quite sure what to clean them with. Again, you can see I've got burn-on pasta sauce on the cooktop itself. Probably get... Try and see which one gives us the better angle here. Well, maybe that. So again, this kitchen cleaner is so versatile that not only can you use it to clean your stainless steel, but you can also use it to clean your pots and pans, your cooktop, your refrigerator, your sink. It is NSF approved, so you can use it in all those places without worry. Maybe we'll do a video here uh, in the future on cleaning the oven. We all know we have uh, <clears throat> that oven glass that is definitely got baked on stuff on it. Gets really dirty. We generally forget to clean it until uh, we have company coming over. So <clears throat> what this will do for that glass is absolutely amazing. So anyhow, we've got the cooktop here. We've got the burn on pasta sauce, right? We're just gonna get a little bit of water. Not much, just a little bit. We're gonna take some Diamond Shine Kitchen Cleaner. Now, with this, you generally can use a microfiber cloth, just like we're using here. If you've got real baked on, burn on um, food on the cooktop itself, you can always use a scrub pad. We recommend the, the white type scrub pads uh, because they're less abrasive and um, better off for, for glass surfaces. But in this instance, I think we'll be able to get it off with the microfiber cloth. If not, we'll go ahead and take a scrub pad to it make sure we get everything off but what you want to do in this particular instance is you want to do small circular motions with the diamond shine product might take a couple a uh, couple passes for the stuff that's baked on really really hard but as you're scrubbing you'll be able to feel the submicron diamonds in the cleaner itself it has a little bit of a, a grit to it and again, what that's going to do for you, and you can see I'm not applying very much pressure. I'm really not putting too much work into it other than these small circular motions as I'm going around. Just a, a few drops of the, of the cleaning product. A little bit of water. And again, I'll just continue these small circular motions until I see that it's nice and clean. Folks, that pasta sauce that, that I had burnt on this cooktop has been sitting there for four days. I wanted to make sure it was nice and, nice and crusty, make sure that everybody can see the power of Diamond Shine Kitchen Cleaner. And again, these submicron diamonds are the the secret sauce in the cleaner this isn't something else you're going to see when you go to your grocery store or wherever you may be on those kitchen cleaners you're not going to see any other cleaner in those stores that have 
these submicron or these diamond this diamond dust in it <clears throat> so again you'll see not very much pressure taking another microfiber cloth it's still a little wet but when you're through with the clean process just take your your microfiber cloth Give it a quick wipe down. It'll look just like it did in the showroom when you saw it before you bought it. Again, I think hopefully this is coming through well enough, but that pasta sauce that had been on there for four days, burned on, sat and dried. And if any of us have kids, we know what that's all about. But again, you can see very little pressure when you're cleaning with diamond dust and diamond shine cleaner. It takes very little effort, cleans up those nasty burn on food particles onto the cooktop with very little effort. So again, we've got the cooktop. We've showed you. You can see the line there on the stainless steel dishwasher door, right? Side on the <clears throat> right has been cleaned with diamond shine. Side on the left has the fingerprints and hard water marks. <clears throat> Like I said, this is the most versatile kitchen cleaner you're going to find out there. You can clean anything from your glass cooktop to your stainless steel. But not only that, I'm going to show you what happens with this burn-on pasta sauce. We've got two different sauces that we burnt into this pan. <clears throat> Ryan, I... Uh, I saw the uh, <clears throat> saw the picture of the <laughs> melted spoon on your cooktop. So thank you for sending that picture, and it was amazing, uh, and a true testament to how well the cleaner works. All right, so let's go ahead and get you a close up in there. I'm going to walk over to the kitchen sink. All right, so in this particular instance, we're gonna to wanna to use a scrub pad because you can see how well it's burned on. So what we'll do, so let's get a little bit of water in here. It's not even hot water, just a little bit of water. Again, we'll use the Diamond Shine Cleaner. Generally, this takes just a little bit longer and you have to use a little bit more water because of how well we burn it on there. Again, in this particular instance, I highly recommend using a, a green scrub pad or a scrub pad of some sort. We also have one of those scrub daddies we can use if, if need be, but generally this green scrub pad will We'll get it on. So you'll see when we're first, first pass, we're really gonna get the top layer off. We're gonna get all that gunk off. It's been on there pretty good. You can see it's it's really gunking up the, the pad. I'm just using a little bit of cold water. Don't even necessarily need hot. So what I'm gonna do is after we get the first first layer off we come back in here see how much more we can get off we may need to use a little bit more product not much but again this is a, a pan that's been sitting with this burn on pasta sauce for four days now so go ahead and clean up the scrub pad here a little bit What 
do is probably just take another another drop or two of diamond shine here. This is the kitchen product again. Just a little drop. Do one last pass. Make sure we get everything off. Looks pretty clean, but when it's burned on that badly, you want to make sure that you get everything out. So again, thank you again for everybody who's joined us and is joining us. and dry this this pan out you'll be able to see that the two different pasta sauces that we had burnt into this pan are now clean best part about this again we use very uh, very light pressure very little product it's NSF, NSF approved, uh, certified for use in food prep areas. So again, this is a this is a regular old nonstick pan, uh, and it cleaned that pasta sauce up with no issue whatsoever. Last thing I wanted to show you, I'm sure all of us have this, but here's a glass plate that goes in the microwave. And again, if any of you have kids like I do, you'll completely understand why this glass plate looks this way. <clears throat> a lot of burn on. I'm not even sure what that is. <laughs> There's some hard water marks on here. So again, we'll probably just want to go ahead and get it wet real quick. Take some of the Diamond Shine cleaner. Not very much. I don't know, four or five drops at the very most. You don't have to use very much because of the diamond dust. It'll do all the work for you. So again, I'm using a green scrub pad in this instance. Really just going around the, the edges here. You can kind of see where, where the baked on food has been. Very, very light pressure. Let the, uh, the cleaner do the work for you. Go ahead and rinse that off. Diamond Shine will work on any of those glass pans that you have, casserole dishes, stuff of that nature. It also works great for those of you that uh, have crock pots, especially with the fall coming up. A lot of us do chili in the crock pot in the fall. Of course, after a few hours of being in the crock pot, especially with chili, you get that burn on food on the edges. All you need is a little diamond shine kitchen cleaner and a crock pot liner will look brand new. So again, there's a microwave plate. You saw it before. And all the food build up, the gunk, some hard water, shine like brand new. Again, there's the, the pan that we cleaned up a little bit earlier. So what we'll do, we'll put the pan right back there on our nice clean cooktop. You also see uh, the stainless steel door there. All right. <clears throat> so that's the, the kitchen cleaning product. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the submicron diamonds that are in that product. See how well they actually work, especially on that stainless steel, glass cooktop, pan, 
But what I want to talk about before we get going for the day is we also have Diamond Shine Bathroom Cleaner. So this particular cleaner uh, is great for your, your shower stalls, your tub surrounds. If you have hard water, uh, for those of you with hard water, especially glass shower doors, uh, I know from personal experience, lime scale, rust, um, the water where I live is, is particularly hard. So especially with those glass shower doors, uh, as well as your, your fixtures, your faucets, the drain, stuff of that nature. So this particular cleaner, if you look at our brand shop, again, it's amazon.com backslash diamond shine. You'll see a lot of before and after photos of, of the bathroom cleaner and give you some great ideas as to what you can use the bathroom product to clean. Next is our hard water cleaner. This is, uh, this is probably our best seller. And uh, the reason why it's our best seller uh, again, you can use it indoor outdoors. You'll see that uh, some of the before and after photos on, on our brand shop on Amazon, uh, you'll see probably three or four shower doors. You'll see brass fixtures for outside. Um, you'll see patio furniture. Any place where you're getting that hard water buildup, any kind of stain or any kind of uh, rust, lime scale, any of that type of stuff, the hard water product is, is probably your best bet. Step down here to the Diamond Shine Automotive Cleaner. Uh, this product is designed for use on unpainted metal surfaces. So uh, a lot of people have um, chrome bumpers, alloy rims, uh, anything that's unpainted. It's also great for, for boats. We're looking at windshields on boats. We're looking at uh, gel coat, stuff of that nature. The automotive product is designed, once again, to not only clean but polish those areas. So especially with, with alloy rims, you'll see a couple pictures, uh, again, on the brand page. We, we've done a uh, hitch for a truck that was real rusted up. You'll see uh, bars for motorcycle handles that were rusted and uh, are now cleaned up because of uh, the diamond shine. So again, very versatile product. For those of you that have hard water stains on your windshield, this product is ideal. Uh, you'll see a before and after on, on the brand shop as well of what diamond shine automotive cleaner can do for you. The last one's probably my personal favorite, and this is the diamond shine outdoor cleaner. So what the Diamond Shine Outdoor Cleaner can do for you is remove that surface rust, uh, patio furniture, um, even your, your barbecue grill, uh, especially for those of you that have stainless steel barbecue grills, the Diamond Shine Outdoor Cleaner is definitely the way you wanna go. Uh, you'll see some great before and after shots on the brand shop of what the outdoor product can do to clean those tough to clean areas such as your barbecue grill, like I mentioned. The other thing this can do is for those of you that have uh, outdoor pools and have the, the ceramic tiles, you'll see that they start to get lime scale build up or they uh, have started to fade. Again, the Diamond Shine Outdoor product is ideal for those situations. For those of you that have brass door hardware, um, go out and take a look at it and take a look how much it is to replace brass door hardware. Uh, when you can get a bottle of Diamond Shine Outdoor Cleaner and clean that brass up uh, and make it look brand new like you just purchased it. So any of that pitting that's in the brass or any surface rust, um, this will take care of all that for you. So again, we've got the full line of product available on Amazon, the automotive, the outdoor, the hard water, the bathroom, and the kitchen cleaners. They're all available on Amazon, uh, available for prime delivery. Most places you'll get it within two days. So uh, please check out our, our site, our brand shop, amazon.com backslash diamond shine. Thank you guys for watching. We truly appreciate it. We'll be around with, with other videos to show you the other product. Have a blessed weekend. Thank you, everybody.